everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. Today we are gonna be playing with a full face, or almost full face, of Gorlan. And I have some of the spring items that have just come out. And I wanna play around with some of the older items that I have in my collection from Gorlan, sort of mix the two in. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. So I've got my hair pulled back, as you guys can see. Um, you know, it's funny, like I've, I've tried playing around with like clips or, no, nothing holds my hair back. So even the headband actually kinda, it's like fighting <laughs> against the headband, which is sad. So the spring collection of Gorlan. So I don't know if this is the entire collection. I'm not really sure what the plan is. I thought that there was other things coming out, but like we learned with Chanel Spring, you know, there are some new restrictions and things that are gonna happen this year that'll be a little off. So we'll see. Um, but at the moment, the two um, items were the Guerlain Meteorites and the lipstick and the lipstick cases. So I picked up the Meteorites in Pink Pearl and Pearl Glow. Uh, basically, they come in the same Meteorites packaging this is pink pearl and i'll show you the uh pearls in just one second we'll get into it um this is the pearl glow so you can see same packaging and when we use the powders i'll make sure to to show you the um the differences then i picked up the two lipsticks the limited edition lipsticks this is in number 76 and number 07. These are the Sheer Shine lipsticks. Now, I don't know if 07 is different from the 07 that already exists. Um, that'll be something that will be interesting to find out. This is 07. So in other words, I don't know if it's a re-promote. I thought it was new, but you know, it's kind of hard to tell because I don't have 07. So, okay. And then the other one is 76. And these are both sheer lipsticks, guys. So there's not a lot of um, pigment. This is 76, this is seven. And then I picked up some cases there were limited edition cases that were like the pearl cases and I picked up one of them. I did not pick up both of them because I don't know, I just the, the pearl ones didn't um, appeal to me as much, but I did pick up one of the pearl cases. It still has the sticker on it if you're wondering the side thing and I'll take that off, but that's the pearl, the white pearl. I think that's called Pearl Glow. Yes, Pearl Glow. And then this one is another, um, case and this is golden ruby now i don't remember if this is lunar new year or if this is holiday <laughs> i don't remember i think it's lunar new year but anyway okay so let's go in with um let's start with my normal quote primer it's not really a primer this is the Gorlan Youth Watery Oil. This is the large size of it that I picked up at the Sephora sale. I haven't even um, opened it yet because I've been using that small one that I've had on my desk for forever. So I usually take just a couple drops of this. And this is what I use as my primer. That's pretty much it. Um, sometimes I use the Bobbi Brown, the vitamin based, forgot the name of it, um, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, that's the only really the other primer I use. I do have the Augustus Botter, uh, Victoria Beckham one, which I also like as well, but I have to admit, since I've picked up the Guerlain watery oil, I've just been using that and I really like it. So I just haven't stopped using it. Uh, okay, so we're gonna use the Lay Essential in 00C. Now, maybe you guys have noticed that this has now been introduced, I think it's at Selfridges, um, in a soft matte formula. If you're not familiar with this, it's a very thick, creamy foundation. I really love this foundation. I wish there was a couple more shades um, 
this one's actually a good match for me. It's just that if it was like just a tad bit deeper, it would be great. It would be perfect, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> not, not trying not to complain. I mean, I'm happy that it exists. It's just, it's just a, a t little bit um, too light, but it's fine. Um, but yes, it's come out in a soft matte formula. This is a very glowy formula, so, you know, I love that. But if you were looking for more of a, a uh, matte, I would say if it's anything as good as this one, then it's gonna be good. This is a great foundation. However, I will say, just as a caveat, it has fragrance. It's Guerlain. Guerlain is a fragrance house. Uh, well, initially. So, you know, it's gonna have fragrance. I love the fragrance. I think it's a beautiful scent and it doesn't bother me, but if you're somebody who's staying away from fragrance for any reason, frankly, um, I'm gonna assume that the new one will have fragrance as well, although I don't know that. I don't plan on picking up the soft matte. Um, I love this formula. I love this foundation. I just don't need the soft matte version of it, and I'm trying to cut back on purchases that are completely and wholly unnecessary, so I'm not gonna get that, but if you know the reviews are amazing and basically everyone says it's not matte matte like it's a velvety matte then i'll think about it um because you know something like that might be might be interesting uh okay so i'm gonna use the terracotta golden bee um bronzer this came out this was the holiday collection if i could get the cap off it looks like that with my recently cleaned tom ford brush Washed, I should say, recently washed Tom Ford brush. I know most of the time you guys see it, it already has pigment on it. I do, for my natural hair brushes, I do clean them. Like I use like a microfiber towel, like the Sonia G towel or whatever, and take the pigments off. But I don't wash them um, as often because with the natural hair, you don't want to do that too much. Um, but I do, I do clean my brushes. Just because there's pigment on it does not mean I haven't cleaned it, I promise. Plus, I'm not using the brushes on anyone else. I'm just using them on me. If I was using them on other people, that would be a big difference. Um, okay, in my opinion. So we're gonna use the Pink Pearl, Pink Pearl, whoa, as I knock things over. We're gonna use the pink pearl as the blush. I'm not having difficulty opening things today. All right, so pink pearl. So they, if you're not familiar with meteorites, they come with this little cushion at the top, little like sponge thing, which I guess you could use, but I've never used it. Um, and then the pearls are inside. As you can see, this is very pink. They're pink pearls. Um, and I'll hold it up next to the pearl glow so you can see the difference. And I'll swatch them too for you guys so you can see, but you can see how much lighter. Okay, so we're gonna take the pink pearls and use it as blush. So let me show you, I'm gonna use this little um, sponge that came with it to show you the shade. You see how pink that is? On a deeper skin tone, I think you could absolutely use it as an over over our arching powder, like an all over powder, a luminizing powder. I think I could do it too if I really shared it out, but since I have the other powder, uh, I'm gonna use one as a blush and one as a, a luminizing powder, and I'll show you this one. There's the powder there. So the pink pearl is definitely pink, guys. And I had seen that, I knew that um, when I ordered it. So it's not like I, not like it took me by surprise. I'm gonna use my Sonia G Classic Cheek Brush. We're gonna go into the meteorites. I love the smell, I love the sound. It's like, there's like wafting, I can't explain it to you, but there's like, when you do this, the powder goes into the sky. <laughs> it's just very cool. Okay, anyway, 
Um, so we're gonna use this as a blush. Now, again, this is gonna be very light. So if you are a deeper skinned person, I don't know if that's gonna be enough pigment for you. For me, it's plenty. And I'm not actually, I'm just kind of like stamping it and then twirling it up. I think uh, this is great for someone like me. But again, if you are a deeper skin tone, that it might not be enough. I, I think this would work probably up to like medium though, because it's, it's pretty pink. Like it's pretty pigmented. Um, the smell, the violet smell. I just love that violet smell. Okay, love it. Um, so I'm not going to do a highlighter today because I'm going to use this powder at the end, so the illumination. So I don't want to do a, um, I don't want to do a highlighter because I feel like it will, uh, diminish the overall look. And so you guys can see it, but I'll leave the blush like this. I won't buff it out until the end. So you can kind of see how it looks, um, on my skin. And like I said, I'm, I'm very pale. The shade that I have in the Ali Essential, Essential is 00C, which I think is the coolest and the lightest shade they have. So that just gives you an idea. By the way, I am wearing the new Chanel um, Spring Nail Polish in Pense. Pense? I think that's right. Um, yeah, Pense. Uh, P E N S E E, in case you're interested. I will have reviews of the Spring. Chanel, but I'm wearing the nail polish right now, so I figured I might as well mention it. Um, so I'm gonna go into the Golden Bee Guerlain palette, and I'm gonna do a very simple look today because we're not here to talk about the palette, we're here to talk about the, the spring new things. But uh, I will show it to you guys. It's a really pretty palette, and I'll link above the review I did. I, I really like this palette. I think it's uh, a very simple, like light palette. I don't think there's a, a ton of pigment to it, but that actually worked out well for me. Some of the shades though are far more pigmented and you know, you can get some, some looks, some um, more pronounced looks, but I think this is more of like, more of a wash of color. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna keep, like I said, this very simple today. I'm gonna go in with this shade here um, and then I'll use like this pinkish shade all over my eye. We'll just, you know, make it, make it a quick look. Um, and then we'll move on to lips and the other powder. Yeah, the spring, um, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mention, this is a 04, Wayne Goss 04. I think the spring uh, collections are, I have never been that into the spring collections, guys. I mean, I mentioned this in my Will I Buy It. It's not that I'm like against spring, I, you know, spring's fine. It's not my favorite time of year. My favorite time of year is fall. I love like those kinds of shades, um, deep greens and browns and that kind of thing. And fall is just something that I really like. So spring and summer, like the peachy pinky kind of things generally don't really get me. Um, you know, we saw that um, Natasha Denona is coming out with more pink. Uh, Pat McGrath is coming out with more pink. And I will certainly try, if not all, some of those things for you because that is why I'm here. Uh, and I want you guys to, to see it in action um, and see what you think of it. But it's not, it's not really my, you know, I'm not gonna be like wowed by it. Um, I just, I don't know. I just never really got into that peachy pink kind of thing. Even when I was a kid, like a younger girl, I wasn't, I just never liked it. I don't know. Kind of more drawn to like blues and greens and that kind of thing. Um, okay, let's go in the Chikahoto F06, and I'll go into this, like I said, this like pinky shade. I'll put that on the lid. Uh, I'm doing more like of a pinkish, cool tone look, so you guys, it meshes with the, um, you know, the spring line. But yeah, I, and I get, I, I totally get why the lines are doing, you know, pinks and purples. I mean, it's, I understand. It's spring. Those are traditional spring colors. And of course, it's Valentine's Day coming up in, you know, what, three weeks, something like that. So I totally understand it. I just, uh, you know, like I said, it's not my thing. Don't have any problem with it, but I probably won't pick up like everything from every collection. 
like the new Pat McGrath um, Rose 2, the Decadence Quad. I don't know if I'll get that, to be honest with you guys. Um, I have the Rose Decadence 1 and Rose Decadence 2. Um, I just don't know if I'll want the, um, the, the quad. So uh, I'm going to go into the purple shade. Again with the Wayne Goss 04. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what uh, what what moves me on the day that it's re it's released. Because I always say no, I'm not gonna get it. And then I end up getting it, you know. Because I wasn't gonna get there was something I wasn't gonna get from Pat McGrath before. I think it was the Rose Decadence. No, it was that. It was the smaller one that came out. I forgot the name of it. I put it down below, and I wasn't gonna get it. And then I got it anyway. <laughs> I have a tendency to do that. Um, let me take the purple with the Wayne Goss number five and just do lower lash line. I can still smell the meteorites. It's so funny. The smell is smell is strong. If you are, like I said about the, the foundation, if you're not someone who likes uh, scent, fragrance in your makeup, I would not suggest picking up the meteorites. Um, they are strongly scented. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's a beautiful violet set and I love it, but if it's, you don't like scent or fragrance, not the thing for you. Um, I'm using, there's like an ice blue shade in here and I'll show it to you in just one second, but I'm just using that in the inner corner here. Yeah, I know this wasn't everyone's favorite palette, but I, I really like it. So this is the um, the blue that I'm talking about, the ice blue that I just used in the inner corner. This is what I used all over the eye. This was the transition and, and this here uh, in the outer corner. All right, so let me just buff that out a little with a Wayne Goss number three. And I'm gonna take the, and I know this is not Guerlain, uh, Guerlain but I'm gonna use the Violet Damask from Chantecai. I'm just gonna line my upper lash line. I didn't use a lot, I just did a very like light line of it, but I just thought it needed just a little bit. Okay, so I know we're not doing it like, this wasn't specifically about an eye look, but let me bring you in so you can see it. I think the Golden Bee palette is available in some places. I'll link it below if it is. Um, it was the holiday, so I, it may be already sold out, but. I really think it's really pretty. I've done, uh, I'll, like I said, I'll link above. I've done a couple of looks with it and I think it's pretty versatile and it actually looks really pretty on the eye, so. So let's move to the illuminating powder and after I put the powder down, then I'll do mascara. Let's go ahead and put the illuminating powder on. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna use, this is the Pearl Glow. I'm gonna use my new Coyoto Ecobeco brush. I just love the sound and the smell. And I'm just gonna kinda like brush it here as, as almost like highlight first. Now, this is a very light powder. Um, yes, it is illuminating, but it's really, it's like a finishing powder. So it's not really a highlighter. But you can see what a beautiful shine that gives you if you wanted to use it as a very subtle glow as like a, you know, illuminizer highlighter. But then of course you can use it all over your face, which is what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna take a, this is a very soft brush. This is a Chikahoto powder brush. This is the Z series, so it's super soft. It's Blue Squirrel. So this will give me a very light distribution. And I will kind of spot, like pounce, and then really lightly powder all over my face. You can see what a beautiful diffused uh, illuminating look you get. It's a beautiful powder. The meteorites are all beautiful. This one is no different. Um, and I will show you the other meteorites in a minute so you can see the comparisons between some previous years. Okay, so now lipsticks. Now, they are both very sheer. They're not gonna show up like that much. I showed you on the back of my hand the different shades, but what I will do is put them on my lips so you can just see um, this one is the deeper one, this is 76.
has more of that pinky tone to it. But again, these are very sheer, so there's not there's not a ton of there's not a ton of there there. <laughs> there's not a lot of pigment. It's it's definitely a sheer lipstick. It's really pretty. It does have a slight scent to it. Again, just keep that in mind. Um, all right, so let me take that off and then we'll do the 07. Okay, so now let's go in with the 07. This gives kind of like a peachy, almost metallic shine to it. I think it's really pretty. Um, those of you who have 07 already, um, if there, I think there is a 07. I'm pretty sure there's 07 shine. Um, if you already have it, then let me know if it's the same. I will put some lip liner on it like with it normally. Like that's what I would do. I put a lip liner and then this over it because I think this is a very sheer shade. But, um, but it's really pretty and I do like it. Um, so let me put on some mascara so you can see the finished look and then I'll show you the um, comparisons with the meteorites. And we're back. Um, I don't have any of the Guerlain mascara so I use the Marc Jacobs at Lashed, one of my favorite mascaras. And just to finish out the look. So again, I have on the Pink Pearl Meteorites as blush, and I have on the uh, Pearl Glow as I showed it to you as a highlighter, and then I did it all over the face. I did not buff anything in, so you could see how it would look on a pale skinned person, no buffing in, just you know, putting it on my face. I didn't do a very strong hand, but you get the picture. I showed you the um, lipsticks, the um, sheer shines, in number 76 and number seven. So this is number seven that I have on right now. Number seven definitely has a peachy, shiny, almost metallic look to it. I, I really like it. I think it's really pretty. But my, I think there is a 07 already in existence. Like I feel like this shade exists, um, but I could be wrong. So it's happened many, many times. Um, so um, if, you know, if there is, or if you own it, uh, and it looks like the same shade to you, certainly let me know, because that would be interesting. I'm gonna put it in this pearl case. So it looks like that. I, I do love the cases. I just think they're just really fun to collect and just beautiful. They're all so different. Um, I have the Golden Bee one from the collection that came out uh, at the holidays that has the, i um, taking the little sticker off this, the, uh, the Golden Bee uh, in Swarovski crystals on the case. So I think, you know, it's just a fun, it's a fun little way to be a little extravagant with your makeup. And there's a mirror inside these if you haven't seen these before, guys. So basically you, you put it in like this, the lipstick actually holds it closed. And when you open it to take out the lipstick, I'm trying to do this like kind of in slow motion, but it's like impossible to do. Um, when you open it up, then what happens is it like pops open like that. And then you have a little mirror so you can do your lips. It's actually, I mean, it's actually a really good idea. Like, especially when you're traveling, this is, I mean, I, I love that. So anyway, um, so those are the, the spring shades. So what I want to show you is a couple of other uh, meteorites here. I have to be, you have to be really careful when you open these. Stuff goes everywhere. It just like, it flies at you. And again, I don't really mind that because I like the scent, but still, I mean, I don't need powder. <laughs> it's like it's been sitting in there waiting for you. It's just like, hello, and it just like pops out. Jeez. Okay, so this one is the standard meteorites. I have it in two Claire Light. Okay, so that's that one. And then let me show you next to the Pearl Glow. You can see the Pearl Glow is much pinkier, right? I'm trying to like, there we go. I don't want them all fall out. So this is Clair Light. This is pink. This is Pearl Glow. And then this is Pink Pearl. So you can see that. That's why I use that one as a blush. So that's the um, standard Claire Light. Then I have it, um, the Electric Pearl. Um, I don't know what season this was. <sighs> Sorry. Um, it comes in the gold case instead of the silver. And this one has much more of like, almost like a bronzy, um, coppery kind of finish to it. 
Again, these are all super light, guys. It's not like, you know, none of these are gonna have, like if I try to put them on my hand here, you're not gonna see anything it's because they're an illuminating powder. But they do have a different illumination. The one that I just used, the Pearl Glow, has a pinky, um, pearlescent, opalescent look to it. That's kind of the point. The um, Electric Pearl had more of that bronzy, coppery look to it. And when you put it all over your face and you get that diffused look, that does, you do see that, um, but it's subtle. It's not like these are so drastically different, except for this Pink Pearl. This Pink Pearl is definitely pink. Like this is the strongest um, color story that I've seen in the meteorites, at least for what I have. I mean, I don't have all of them by any means, so. Um, and then the last one is the Golden Bee, which is what I picked up at the holiday time, which is this one. Um, the Golden Bee, uh, it's most like the Clear Light. This is the Clear Light, this is the Golden Bee. But um, the Golden Bee has more purple, I think, and pink to it than the clear light does. You can see it's like a little deeper. Um, and next to the Pearl Glow, definitely has more of that, you know, uh, bluish undertones. This one's definitely like lighter pink, more opalescent. And then next to Pink Pearl, obviously, it's, you know, very different color story. And they all smell exactly the same. They all have that gorgeous violet scent that I absolutely love. But if you don't like fragrance, really don't pick it up because it doesn't dissipate. Like some of these meteorites I've, meteorites I've had for a while, they still smell like violet. Every time I open them up, it's just like wafting violet. So it's not like the Gucci, in my opinion, it's not like the Gucci bronzer that lost its fragrance after a while. These don't seem to. And again, for me, that's not a bad thing, but you know, it's strong. So I just wanna, I like to caution people about that because I've said before, well, this has fragrance. People are like, yeah, yeah. And it, they don't, they're like, oh, it's not that bad. This one though, it's intense and it's a beautiful scent, but you have to like it. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not, it's not, you're not gonna enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, so full face, pretty much, of uh, Guerlain today, the watery oil, the Ella Essential. Like I said, I'm not gonna pick up the soft matter. I don't plan to. Uh, but if you guys are really interested in it or the reviews are just so outstanding that I have to, uh, or I feel I have to, uh, I'll pick it up. And then the two new meteorites in Pink Pearl and Pearl Glow and the lipsticks in 07 and 76 um, and some new cases. And I did a little bit of review with the other meteorites, used the Golden Bee bronzer from last year um, and the Golden Bee eyeshadow palette. So that was fun, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.